Welcome again. This is Robert F. Loggins, Sr. Uh, in R. F. Loggins Ministries. We are continuing our study, if you've been walking along with us in uh, Mighty Men of God, David's Dream Team. And today, as we seek to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, uh, to equip the whole church with the whole gospel in order to reach the whole world, we want to pick up on the next segment of our study, which focuses on inadequate thinking. In other words, the inadequacy of how we think and how we allow our minds to go places as men of God that is often unhealthy and areas of our life and our thinking that is unproductive. We want to be more productive in our thinking. We want to be more focused in our thinking because we can never really make Jesus king. We can never really be the men that God would have us to be if we allow our thinking to usurp the authority of the word of God. We've got to keep our focus on the power of God's word and allow his word to take up residence in our life. So it's all about our thinking and how we think and what's going on in our mind uh, as men of God that really need to be dealt with and move from inadequacy to becoming adequate. Listen closely. Submission of mighty men. Submission explained through the medium of the simple will not alter the minds of the intellect because it is simply too simple. Let's back up and revisit this. In other words, those who want to be brilliant and be astute in their thinking, they have the, the propensity or the desire to be so smart until their smartness usurps their abilities to be simplistic. In other words, God wants us to focus on the simple things and not try to make the things that are so simple, like obedience to God and recognizing our inadequacies and becoming so brainy as a brainiac that we miss the simplicity of God. We want to hide God's word in our heart and we want to be the kind of men that God will be pleased with. So in adequate thinking, is an area in each of our lives as men that can trip us up, and we don't want that to happen. It is my prayer today, as you go through this study, that you revisit your thinking and that you have the mind of Christ as mighty men of God. And as you study along with us, you will become convinced that it is in your thinking, in your focus, in your desire to be all that God would have you to do, you want to be so focused on God and think about God so much that the other things really just do not matter at all. Once again, Art for Loggins Ministry is a ministry that is engaged in equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. It is a ministry that is focused on equipping people to equip people. Ephesians 4, 11 and 12 equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. It is a ministry that desires to make Jesus king so we as men can submit to the authority and the principles of God's word. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much that we desire to be mighty men of God, men of the word, men of character, men of heart, that we might, Father, bring glory and honor to your name. In the strong name of the Lord Jesus, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So welcome again, and we're excited that you're studying with us. And drop us an email. Go to www.pastorloggins.com, or you can send me an email at drrobert at pastorloggins.com, and we would love to hear from you as you're studying and growing in the knowledge of the truth of understanding that the only adequacy we have is the adequacy of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, 
And God, keep you today. This is our prayer.